Hey, everybody, what is going on? And welcome into Uncle Steve's Lounge. And oh, my goodness, we have a lot of stuff to talk about. As you already know by now, we have our quarterback. It is Kirk Cousins. It is a lot of money. And the question we're going to ask, upgrade or overreach? Come back. Let's talk about it. Monday to everyone today. This is your Uncle Steve, and we're in Uncle Steve's lounge. Yes, you saw me earlier today because we had breaking news, and by now, most of the Atlanta Falcons fandom already know that we have a new quarterback. His name, Kirk Cousins. His contract, four years, $180 million. More importantly, $100 million guaranteed. There is a party going on in the cousin's household tonight, I'm pretty sure. I am your Uncle Steve. Welcome into Uncle Steve's Lounge. This is usually called the Monday Minutia. This would be accurately probably part two of the Monday Minutia, as we did come on a little earlier to talk about uh, the breaking news with the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, her cousins, got to give Atlanta credit. They said, this is what we want to do. So that's what they did. They went out and got what was, whether it was the, the most sure thing. And I say sure thing when I say not knowing what was going to happen with the rookies, not knowing how they're going to pan out. The other options where you can say whether they were uh, people who were uh, – at least already out there, the Baker Mayfields, the Russell Wilsons, and, and folks like that. So we are now at a point where the Falcons have invested in Mr. Kirk Cousins. And I want to ask the question of everyone coming in today, is this an upgrade or is it an overreach? I, I I've already seen the emotions of the day. How I feel, it was not my first choice. It was not the, the choice that I, I thought they would make. I thought my first choice was to go up and get one of the top three guys in the draft. Uh, the consensus was to bring Justin Fields in bring them home, get them here in this environment, and let's see what happens. Well, we went the third route, and I'm lukewarm about it, but I think it is a positive. You have a proven quarterback. You've brought him into a situation where you have offensive weapons in place, which I'm sure will add. So when I look at the whole situation, I think it's, I think it's a good move. It's an expensive move, but it's a good move. Now, what do we do next? That's the question. And when we got heavy news like that going on, I usually need some help. What better person to bring on than Smooth, Smitty, 10K in the house to talk about what's going on with these Atlanta Falcons Smitty, what is going on, my friend? Uh, 
I'm trying to test Arthur Blank to see can we get a receiver to go with Kirk Cousins. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What's up, Augustine? <laughs> What's going on, brother? I don't know if they got any money left. I I, I know they do, but I all kidding aside, um, I'm really thinking. And and if you're in the if you're in the bra if you're in the room right now with. Terry Fontenot, and of course, this is different from the draft room, but you're in the free agency market right now. Where are you looking as far as your next free agent? That's a great question. Um, I know we have weapons on this team already, but if I'm going to look to go out and find more weapons, I think it's going to be a wide receiver. Um, we still have holes there because we only have like three receivers signed to the roster at this point. And you can address that in the draft as well, but you need that veteran. And I think Van Jefferson being played under Raheem Morris in Los Angeles, I think is a slight chance that he comes back. Uh, so you got to look at wide receiver. Um, you could look at cornerback, grab a veteran out the cornerback room. Um, there's still many ways you can go. You can go find you a three, four edge or a nose tackle. I mean, it's still, still depth pieces needed. But uh, off the top of my head, I'm gonna say wide receiver. Yeah, that's that's probably a good way to go, and especially with the investment that you made in quarterback. The one thing you want to have is him be comfortable in the system and him be comfortable uh, with what he has available. I'm not gonna waste any time, Smitty. We're gonna jump into this chat and grab some folks up in here. Larry from the Dixon Way is in the house. What's going on, brother? The best live reaction video. On YouTube, that's my brother and his lovely wife Shonda doing their thing on Dixon Way. Y'all make sure y'all give them a sub on the channel. Larry says, I think we win the division with Captain Kirk, but I don't believe we're a Super Bowl contender. Prior to the deal, the Falcons was $37.2 million under the cap. Kirk cost $45 million a year, so the math is bad. Well, actually, it kind of doesn't work that way. Uh, Larry, it's a little convoluted. Uh, they can actually work that to where it's only somewhere between fifteen to twenty million dollars for the first twenty year. million, yeah, yeah twenty yeah. million on, on the cap hit. So we have the money to do some other things. We've actually made a couple of little small moves. I know we got a new tight end today, and uh, so we got some room to do some things. I want to hit this super chat, chat real quick. Always gonna hit those folks up first. That's our brother. Greg in the house, and we're going to give him a little super chat love today. I want a super chat. Talk to you, too. I want a super he, chat. He loved it. He liked that. <laughs> I'm slightly jealous. <laughs> <laughs> That's our buddy Greg from Greg Custom Kicks in the house. Big time supporter, man. We appreciate you. Thank you for always supporting us, brother. That was up. Uh, uh, I'm sure you man. Uh, I'm not troubled by the Kirk Cousins signing. He was on an MVP path before injury. Uh, most teams already overpay in free agency. Believe it or not, will win the division. We were close with Desmond Ritter. Um, let me let me ask you about Greg's comment. Uh, he was on an MVP path before injury. His numbers. We're looking really good, uh, also considering he has arguably the best wide receiver in the game on his team. Uh, do you think he can, after injury, which we have to keep saying after injury, folks, because he's going to come off a major injury at 36, um, do you think he can keep up that same level one year later, from what, one year removed from where he was last year? Absolutely, if he get the right weapons. Um, he's playing in the system he's familiar with, and that's a plus. He really doesn't have to learn a new system over, so he could actually help Zach Robinson transition into calling plays the proper way and helping him see what's on the field and helping the young quarterbacks, no matter who's in the quarterback room. Um, so, yeah, I think he can return to that. We get one more receiver, maybe a legit number one. Um I think the Falcons offense can put up 27 to 30 points a game easily. Oh, absolutely. I think it could be the, well, could be the offense we thought it was going to be in 2023. That's for sure. Right. My brother Cody is in the house. He said, I expect a return to the Super Bowl with all the money 
spent on Kurt. We are all in. We have a small four-year window. Hopefully, I I, I agree with you as far as um, trying to get there. I, I would disagree about that window. I think that window might be closer to two years, uh, more yeah. than four. Two, if maybe three. Have, Absolutely, because yeah. because at the end of that third year, you're talking about a lot of young folks that's going to be up for their contracts as well, uh, notably Bijan and uh, other people coming up uh, on the list. Uh, down here, we got another super chat in the in the house. Shaka Zulu is here. It's a super chat, super chat with super chat. Yeah, we gonna bring about the we gonna bring about the Everybody's chat. Super Jack, Super Jack. <laughs> Shaka Zulu said, I'm just here for the Super Jacks. <laughs> hey, man, at you, Shaka. Hey, bring it on, man. If, if that's <laughs> if that's all you want, brother, we appreciate it, man. Thank you for joining us, brother. Monica Q is in the house. What's up, Monica? Good to see you. Robinson says, Unc, I love this move. NFC Championship, a bust. Dexter's in the house. Oh, I missed you earlier. Why haven't we seen nothing? I know Terry cooking, but I am impatient. I want some pass rusher and wide receiver. Uh, Samuel Ute Brown, just uh, a few names. Uh, Smitty, do you think? Uh, talking I, about I Curtis think we talked about it at, yeah, and we talked about it at the very beginning. Do you see us in a rush now that we've gotten probably our big ticket guy uh, today? Do you see us? making any more big moves or do you think something like that's probably more than likely happening tomorrow or not even tomorrow um, next week or so i think it i think they're gonna wait and check the uh market and see uh can they get a discount on a, on a, on a decent player uh, um as far as big moves um i think they're done with big moves but could be wrong um because we still could see trades heading to the watch the draft um but there's still some good names on the market, and one name that uh, I'm going to be looking at is Justin Simmons. Still, right. um, I think you bring him in with a um, Jesse Bates. You get him that uh, that type of uh, safety work. Um, I think it helps the entire secondary. Helps AJ. Helps Clark Phillips, who's transitioning to his second year. Uh, helps D. Alford. And uh, they could bring in a Jadarius White on a, a vet minimum contract since he's coming off uh, injuries and see how that would work. Uh, but, you know, there's still big names out there, but I don't think they would have to spend a lot of money to go get those type guys. And, and that's why I feel like you start talking about week one, I mean, week two signings and things mm -hmm. like that. I think once everything kind of calms down and we get the big ticket folks out the way, you'll start seeing some of that. A lot, a lot of the folks in here, Obviously, we got a lot of traffic in here. I just got to acknowledge my brother Wallace, G, Archangel in the house. The King 83 is here. Dondre is in the house. Red Stallions forever. Appreciate you. Zay in the bag is here. Rusty Moore, my buddy, he said, I would like, I would feel more comfortable with this if we drafted, say, a Bo Nix or McCarthy to learn for two years so they are ready to take over in two years. Smitty, uh, it was something that I was talking about earlier today, and I, I'm trying to look while while we're doing this at the draft. Uh, do you think there'll be anyone available for us probably in the second second round if we thought about going to uh, a quarterback available in the second? Um, round? Depending on right who's now, we there are at, at the bottom of the first. Depending on there at the bottom of the first, mm -hmm. I, I could I could see them moving back up into the bottom of the first or top of the second and take a quarterback. Uh, but like I said, I'm going out to get that weapon to finish off this uh, arsenal they're trying to put together. And we know, and as I use it as, a, as an example, um, San Francisco, high scoring team. You Eagles can put up points. Dallas can put up points. So you got to be able to put up points in the league. And you talk about top of the pinnacle with Patrick Mahomes. You definitely got to score points to be those guys. So headed in the right direction. Absolutely. Fogo the Greats in the house. Dexter Owens is in the house. Uh Q Lavender in here. Uh C Double is in here. Dan the man. Appreciate you. Raymond's in the house. What's going on? He said it's all about the logo, which is absolutely true. Reggie C Reggie two. I'm sorry, Reggie C2K 
is in the house. We got a lot of folks. Miss Frances Hunt is in here. She said, Uncle Steve and my man Smitty certainly is an upgrade. I was on the Justin Fields train, but now I'm on the Kirk Cousins train. Smitty, if you had to have a, I don't want to say a speech or, or, or something to say to those folks who are quite disappointed that we didn't go the route of Justin Fields, what would you tell them after this move? What what would you tell them about the move we made today and possibly why we didn't look at Justin Fields as an option? I got to give a shout out to Mama Johnson. She said I got to convince her. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Mama Johnson, I'm going to tell you like this. Hey, man, um, she ain't playing. You got you got to look at it in the positive as far as what the Falcons need. The Falcons need consistency at the quarterback position. Uh, they needed a veteran to come in and be able to con- control and command the offense. You need a quarterback that can go through progressions. You need a quarterback that can anticipate throws. And we just haven't seen that in Justin Fields the first three years. He still got growing to do. With Kirk Cousins, you know what you have. The ceiling is there. He's vested in the NFL. And at the end of the day, you got to pay to play. And what I mean by that, the average cost of a quarterback is $40 million, starting with Daniel Jones, who didn't even play last year. Uh, So it's the right move because it's just time for the Falcons to move forward. And as Uncle Steve always say, kicking the can down the road. So it's just time to stop doing that. So, I mean, we needed a veteran. They went and got a veteran. And what better veteran was on the market than Kirk Cousins? There wasn't one. So we had to pay for it. So we had to pay for it. And, and and that's one before I um, expound on that. Got another super chat in the house. Our brother Greg again. Super chat, super chat, super chat. See, I've been at work. Oh, I've been man, at work, I've been at work. I know. I see. <laughs> Greg. Greg says, "Look at the bright you side." Had too much time on your hands me. last week. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey man, I had a little time. I definitely did. Then look at the bright side. Cousins has the Ain'ts number. Hashtag logo business. He's right about that. He's right. Agreed. Um, when I talk about kicking kicking the money down, you know, listen, we're in win. We're this is obviously win mode now because if you were to go get someone, as Smitty just told us, if you were to try to get uh, Justin Fields or even if you were your main move would have been go up in the top three and get one of the uh top three guys, guys. folks yeah it, it would not be a guarantee that it's going to be a cj stroud situation there is nothing even with kirk cousins it's not a guarantee but at least you have a track record and at least you see as early as last year he was real sharp he was sharp as a tack. And it wasn't just Justin, Justin Jefferson on this team. You had Jordan, Addison, Addison on the team. Hawkinson yeah. on the team. So you had weapons. And I'll, I mean, aside of Justin Jefferson, who is one of a kind. But I trade over to Atlanta. I think if Kyle Pitts is healthy, he's better than Hawkinson. I think uh, Bijan is better than any running back they have there now. Hell, shoot, I'll take Ty- Tyler Algier over anybody they have right there now. So right. when you start talking about bringing in, making the decision to say, you know what, let's bring in Kirk Cousins. Let's see if we can maximize these guys now and and, and roll with that. I think that's I think that's an awesome uh, move they made today. Yes, it was expensive, but it's not Kirk Cousins' fault that he was the most talented quarterback on the market. It's not Kirk Cousins' fault that the market is saying that you have to pay $40 million for an above-average quarterback. And he is above average compared to the rest of the NFL. So he just came in at the right time. Speaking of coming in at the right time, bringing up the rear, not being able to get his lead singing position back, is our brother, our brother, Big Low. <laughs> I can't see oh, country man. sports in the house. What's going on? What's, what's, what's going on, man? What's going on, fellas? How y'all doing? 
<laughs> we do it all Everything right. good, bro? I'm glad, oh, yeah. I'm glad you accepted that news like you did, man. That was pretty humble of you not to say anything. Except what news, huh? The, the news that, that, that you Kirk didn't replace. That you didn't replace, brother. Well, Just I mean, like your I mean, boy Cisco played. Well, well, <laughs> you, 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 you see, you see, my name uh, right there. Southern, Southern Silk, Silk wanna be Charlie Wilson. Wanna be Charlie <laughs> Wilson. Yeah, I see you all there. Hey, wanna, hey, what's going on, brother? Man, we try to make it up. Try to make it. How you doing? Man, we doing all right, man. Me and Smitty trying to chop it up with everyone in the chat Ooh, and appreciate all of y'all. And listen, you you got two of the the best podcasts here with uh Smitty and it and not only Smitty Sports Machine, but the 95 North Sports Machine as well, and big low country sports. Y'all make sure y'all support the channels, like the video. And get us in here now. Low, I'm gonna put you on the spot. The question of the day is: Kirk Cousins upgrade or overreach? What's your initial thought, brother? You said upgrade or overreach? I did. There you go. I mean, I think it was enough. You know, we have thinking questions on here, Low. We're gonna, oh. we're gonna, we're gonna test you out, buddy. Oh. <laughs> He look like Cindy Brady on the Brady Bunch when I asked him that question. He looking at that red, looking at that red light. Y'all know that episode. <laughs> I think it's an upgrade. I think it's an upgrade. You know, he's a, uh, you know, he he's done it in different offenses um, throughout his career. He, I mean, it's, it's crazy because he was actually, uh, um, you know, he he was working that Kyle Shanahan system, you know, a while back. You know, up underneath Kyle Shanahan in Washington, uh, we got Kyle Shanahan's coaching grandson here. Um, you know, he can make every throw. He he's a high processor like they like they wanted. He's very competitive. You like that, you know? So I mean, <laughs> you know, it, I, I think it's an upgrade. You like that? How many times do you think we're gonna hear that oh phrase in the next couple of months? Oh I, 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 get ready for it. Yes. Get ready yes. for it. Uh, this another mother alert, because uh, I'm going to tell y'all what. Let me preface this by saying um, my mom called me uh, a little earlier. I, I, I was doing some business. And I called her back. And and mom is, is not happy. Uh -oh. she, she's not. She and, and This is probably just a small excerpt. She says, money not well spent, overreach, proven limping in quarterback. My 76-year-old heart is aching again. Oh, you young man. fellas haven't been waiting as long as me. I want a winning team. Now, I'm going to have to ask her to express herself a little bit more than she has right now. But she, she, hey, she is not happy uh, about that. And I, and I think it, it's, it's something that we have talked about at times, fellas, do you feel like now with the Kirk Cousins move, does that automatically tell you that there's got to be somebody to be drafted um, at quarterback for this team? Uh, either draft for quarterback or get a younger, excuse me, a younger option to bring it here and learn on the Kirk Cousins. I'm, I'm going to start with you, Low, and then I'm going to swing it around to Smitty. Well, first of all, you know, since Uncle Steve is our uncle, they got no business messing with great aunt Lorene. <laughs> Seventy six year old heart. Like they don't got no business messing with her like that. So Hey man. <laughs> <laughs> she was mad, bro. She man, was mad. I, hey, hey, she this, was this mad. right here shows it. This comment right here shows it because I met her before, and that's a that's a sweet, loving lady. Now y'all got her fired up now. Yeah, she already done got on me, low. So okay, it's your yeah, turn. Got you too. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, Spanish. You bad, man. You bad. Well, I I mean I put it to you like this right here. Uh, you know how like you know when, when whenever two people are in a relationship, and you know you uh I mean I I, I don't know. Let's say. You know, they start taking the relationship to the next level. You know, when, whenever it starts getting real serious and, you know, let's say you, you start sharing bank accounts or, you know, you, you know, they leave the toothbrush over at your house or something. <laughs> After a while, <laughs> it, 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 what, 
what's coming up next, mm-hmm. man? What, what, what's the next step? Clothes, them clothes moving in. And after that, somebody need a ring. Yeah, I know, we need a no, ring. Got, no, it's, it's, it's the dope key before go. the ring. That's true. They, it's the dope key first. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dope <laughs> but we need a ring. It's, it's getting, it's, it's, ring. it's getting sick. Like so, so if if Kirk Cousins supposed to be the dokey, if he supposed to be the key to the front door to help us, you know, the the last step. Next thing we need is a ring. I, so look, they they they, they better they, they 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 better get it moving. I, or somebody's gonna yeah. be moving. Yeah, Dude, they on the clock. That's true. They on the clock. Talk to me, Smitty. What you think about a uh, quarterback and and uh, especially a young quarterback? What's up, Chris? We see you in here, Chris. The A one forever. Y'all make sure y'all give our brother uh, Chris some love. I think they can go out and get a younger guy and one name that I'm gonna throw out there. And I know it's not gonna be a popular pick, but he's still young. Zach Wilson. Um, you could probably get him for a seventh round pick. Um, like I said, I trust Zach Robinson coming in. Uh, implement his system, and I feel like it's one of those offenses any quarterback can fit. And I think that's what Zach Wilson needs, a fresh start. And we know he has the rocket on. We haven't seen the accuracy because guess what? He's had two, three offensive coordinators already. So I think in a simplified system, Zach Wilson would probably um, – he's still 25 years old. Uh, so I, w- I could look at a Zach Wilson or a Michael Penix – maybe in the bottom of the first trade back up. Uh, so they're going to be options, but I would love to see a younger guy behind um, behind um, the new guy, Kirk Cousins. <laughs> Kirk Cousins. Smitty said he makes so much money, I don't know what his name is. Kirk Cousins. Uh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he, makes, he, he, he got to get his name. Uh, Keely, a brother Keely, what's going on, Keely? Say it's an upgrade, but it doesn't make us a contender in my opinion especially with his poor playoff big game history. I, the, the only um, person that I could say his situation would give hope to, even though he is still a couple of years his senior, is I think about Matt Stafford. And I think about when Matt Stafford went to the Rams and uh, pretty much after kind of being – he was a stat guy. He stuck the stats, but never really put up – the Pro Bowl years, MVP years, and whatever, and came to a team that was ready-made with the Rams and paid immediate dividends. I I think a situation like that gives me hope, and especially knowing that somebody like Raheem saw that and maybe have a little insight on, you know, how to how to make that work. What y'all think about that is uh do you think we're not a contender? It doesn't make us a contender. I disagree with Keely a little bit. I think it does make us a contender. I don't think it makes us contenders. We 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 wow. still got a whole lot more. We still got a whole lot more holes to fill. I mean, if you look at like the heart and soul of that defense to a certain extent last year with the with the um, Calais Campbells and the Bud Dupree's. Uh, I mean, now Jeff Okuda, I mean, to a certain extent, you're going to have to replace, you know, a good 40% of the starting defensive uh, – of the defensive starters. So, I mean, I can't I can't sit here and say that, you know, we got – that I can't sit here and say that we're contenders whenever we still haven't fully gotten dressed yet. That's like saying I'm, I'm fresh as a Johnson & Johnson, baby. We only got one sock on and some draws. I don't know how good I'm gonna look yet. You say what, soccer? That, that <laughs> seems like <laughs> it's a peculiar, peculiar dressing you do in there, Low. We we gonna talk about that after the. After the <laughs> here's oh. here's here's my only uh, where I disagree with you. Sometimes it's all about timing. Right yep. now, when you're in the NFC. Let's look at the NFC. This is not the 1980s with Frisco and Dallas and uh, San Francisco, you know, uh, like running, running all over the place. This is a NFC that I really only can put San Francisco in the category of, you know what? 
they're pretty good. I, I, I don't see any reason with Kirk Cousins we can't be better than Detroit. Any reason we can't be better than Philly. Any reason we can't be better than Dallas. And I'm not saying this to put those teams down. I'm saying from a com competitive nature, I think Kirk Cousins makes them a better team. So when you say a contender, I, I'm not saying you're wrong about your Johnson and Johnson analogy. I am saying it's not our fault that the league is down right now. If we were in the AFC, it'd probably be a different story. All you got to yeah. do is go on the road, win two games, three games in a row yeah. to get to the Super Bowl. And if you have the right team and the right quarterback, you can do that. What do you think, Smitty? I, I meant to get you. I, I agree with that. Um, I think we are contenders. I think we actually, to be honest, won the number one wide receiver away from a Super Bowl contender. And the reason why I say that, like I said, you have to put up points in this league. And if they add a number one receiver to what they already have, give him time to throw the ball. Uh, I don't feel like no team can stop the Falcons. A 6'6 tight end, a 6'4 receiver, uh, all world running back that's a game breaker, can break on any given play. You don't find that on every team. So they have all the pieces in place. It's just time to go get one more receiver. This is why I said Marvin Harrison Jr., I would think about moving up and making that move. I heard you say that earlier. That's that's uh, I, if I didn't have to give up the draft picks that I know I'm going to need now because of the money situation that's going to hamper me, I would jump on that real quick. That's that's going to be interesting. We got a super chat in the house and over here. No, it ain't about Superman. It's about the jam. That's where the boogie get down. <laughs> hey, hey. The super chats are always the best in town. That's right. That's wait, right. Wait, His wait, super wait, chat wait, here wait, is the hold on, hold on. Did, did, he, had, he had too much wait, time on his hand, Big Low. Hold on. Did, did, did he just reference the Superman chat? Like, did he just, like what in the world? He just, <laughs> nobody said nothing about Superman. It, like, it, 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 in, your, in your honor, I, I would be honored if you would read the super chat for us, sir. Wait, wait so so, so do, do you want me to sing too, or you just want me to? I mean, hold on. I'll put you on the clock. Okay, go. <laughs> Lord have mercy. He said, well, <laughs> the tie the is cast. The choice has been made. If this doesn't get us a ring, this regime will have the life expectancy of a Central American dictator. dictator. Wow. Goodness wow. gracious. Wow. Da -da. That's a Superman chat. I had to throw that little bit in there, too. Yeah, throw that one in there. Yeah, that <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you were in chat without that. that look, look, I look, the people, the people know he's in Superman. <laughs> Superman <laughs> chat. So we'll, we'll, <laughs> next one we go get the you, Smitty. We go, we go get the super tin case uh, chat. We go. <laughs> I can't say y'all know that. My, I can't my mom has deserted me. She says, "Thank you, Lo. I'm listening to you. I have the ring. Need the band now." I still love you. Wow. Wow. That's a compliment. What compliment did she give us? Oh, sometimes it's, 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 it's all good. You going to get slapped upside your head with that bit? <laughs> uh, on the speed. You better, hey man, you better I, hold I, it in I, the I road. Know, I know what I got to deal with. Our brother, our brother Jack Spade is in the house. Jack Spade said, Kurt Frost, ice him out. <laughs> Jack Spade, one time for the fans in the house. Y'all make sure y'all go check him out. What what platforms? It's not only YouTube, he's on other stuff too, right? They on YouTube, Facebook, um, X. X. Yeah, I think they're okay. on Spotify too. He's on Spotify. On Spotify? Okay. okay. And I and I'm yeah. sorry, Jack. Unfortunately, I'm not as uh uh social media spread as the rest. I'm trying though. I'm trying. I know it's on X today, so we'll we'll get that. In the house. Also, my brother from uh, Good News Network is in the house. That's our brother Jansen in, in here. The facts. The ring is the motive. So y'all make sure y'all give him some love as well. Uh, Shout out to Jansen. I saw, I saw our brother Let's Get It GA in here as well. Uh, uh, he said he would up. He said, I'd like a trial in the group for your bass singer opening. Well, 
I got I got a better thing for you. Let's get it, GA. I got a replacement spot for you, but we'll talk because somebody might be on that we talk about <laughs> replacement. And so I'll I'll send you that. I'll send you that link later, bro. So we'll we'll talk. About Lord have mercy. Well, I tell you, <laughs> hate is real, boy. Hate is real. When we start oh, when we start talking um about the Atlanta Falcons now moving forward, uh what's the next move i know we like i said we did acquire a tight end today uh what's the brother's name uh smitty charlie warner daughter warner tampa right from uh 49ers. San Francisco. 49ers i'm sorry i'm sorry yeah. 49ers. former uga tight end give me both of y'all give me one move doesn't matter what the price is because obviously they open in the checkbook uh give me one move that you would say possibly move us to the contender spot that Lowe says we're not going to get to. Smitty, na- name, name one free agent that you think could get us closer to that. Somebody that's still up, and I'm getting ready to pull up the remaining free agents while you I ain't going to throw out no, I ain't going to throw out no uh, free agent. I'm going to throw out a trade. Oh, I okay. say go get Justin Jefferson. Um, he already Ooh. said if Kirk Cousin doesn't come back, you know, he's going to be looking uh, probably not to sign an extension. They would probably like to franchise tag him. Um, but I would call Ooh. Minnesota and see would they take that number eight pick for Justin Jefferson. I know the contract is big, and I know it's going to be big, but just like Kirk Cousins, you can work it into the salary cap. Uh, so, like I said, I'm going to just go swing for the fences the whole way. All in. We there. We playing poker, push the chips in the middle of the table. You got to at this point. Smitty going for the – Smitty going for broke. Uh, what, you, what you think, uh, Lo, as far yeah. as – Give me someone that you would say can get you closer to believing. You said you don't think we're a contender. Someone you well, think is well, closer to believing. Well, I don't say that. I don't think we will be contenders. I'm saying that as of right now, I don't know if we're contenders. That's why I use the analogy of getting dressed. You have one sock on and a T-shirt. I, I don't know if I'm going to look good or not hey, 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 Smitty, did you see him sidestep that real quick? <laughs> Did you see how he he like tried to get his fandom back? At like at, at first, at first uh, he turned back on his team. Now he all what? of a sudden tried to come back and say, what? "Oh, not now!" Wow, wow. I mean, I'm just saying. Wow, just, uh, you heard it. Oh, go ahead. You heard it. Oh, real. You heard it. Goodness gracious, the hate that, is real. <laughs> But Man. who's the, who's who's the guy that you that you think could at least possibly turn uh change your mind about? But I'm once again, I don't know if it's necessarily changing my mind. But to affirm, you know, for me that, that we're that we're contenders, uh, um, Zapian Howard. I know he's a he's a free agent. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that'll um, be a good one. Yeah, if you could put good. another guy on the other side of AJ Terrell, um, it could be Zapian Howard, Kyle Fuller. Um, just a just another cornerback on the other side of AJ Terrell, somebody that we wouldn't even have to worry about on that side. That that could open up a whole lot more in the middle, which is one of the reasons why, um, you know, we had a whole lot better sack numbers this year because a lot of more yeah. than half of our sacks were legit coverage sacks. Um, yeah. it opened up things in the middle of the field for us. So, um, you know, I got a feeling we're probably going to be drafting, um, uh, that that pass rusher with that eight pick. Um, or possibly trading down, and when we do that, uh, I feel like we could get you know that cornerback on the other side, like Xavier Howard, to really help take us to the next level. Absolutely, That's thanks, James. One. James from Kentucky, appreciate you, brother, coming out there. Go ahead, Smitty. I apologize. To... Oh no, no, no! I'm just saying that was a good one. Um, I agree with that one. I'm gonna. Hey, Marine, I got to. I got to. I got to spend their money. <laughs> I, I'm going to pull up the current uh, free agent list for us. Uh, okay. For those folks that have also, who have just signed as well. And just look at the money. As as, as far as we're concerned, uh, we're complaining a lot um, in our fan base. But I, I think it's Christmas for everybody. If you look at this, and our buddy Christian, uh, Christian Wilkins. Christian Wilkins, yeah. Man, you see that money he got? Four years, one ten. Um, yeah, Robert Hunt, 
five years, a hundred million. Uh, Grenard, that's that was the guy who was showing out in uh, the playoff game. Houston, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. showing up in that Cleveland game. He was pretty good. Uh, they, uh, Xavier McKinney is is out there. Bryce Huff, uh, Josh Jacobs in a surprise move. How, how surprised are y'all that uh, Green Bay gave up on Aaron Jones like that? Not really, because. Um... He had been hurt the last couple of years, and he probably wanted too much. And they, he probably wanted close to 15, and they were only willing to go, I think, 13. So um, it's not a surprise, but you got to give it to uh, Aaron Jones. He's been one of the most underrated backs in the NFL for the last four or five years. And um, he deserved it, to be honest. But, you know, they lost A.J. Dillon as well, so they had to go get, you know, another superstar back. So it made sense. Our buddy Russell White is in the house. He's on the West Coast. Yes, we did get Kirk Cousins. We did, my friend. Four years, $180 million, $100 million guaranteed. I will be quitting my job to become his driver. Coming up here in Atlanta, I'm, that's going to be my new occupation. As I look at that. Saquon Barkley, any surprises about Saquon? Going to Philadelphia, y'all? Mm. I ain't surprised at all. I, no. I had a feeling. I had a feeling he was gonna go to a uh, go to a contending team because you could tell Saquon was like you could tell he was feeling very much like Richard Petty. He was feeling petty in the situation. Oh. Yeah, he was being petty. <laughs> <laughs> I thought yeah. there was gonna be a race car driver <laughs> reference coming to that. No, I knew where he was going with it when I heard the petty words. Because <laughs> they said he was looking at the Cowboys and the Eagles. I was like, oh, he just tried to go to a divisional rival. So, yeah. John Runyon uh, switching gears, going from uh, Green Bay to the Giants on a three-year deal. That's a pretty good move for them. Uh, a, a decent I guard. I think the move of the day, though, Uncle Steve. I'm going to say the move of the day being Brian Byrne going to the Giants. Oh, my goodness. I think Ooh, that's – Man. I think that was a sneaky good move. Um, you got, They already the have Dexter Lawrence and uh, Kayvon Thibodeau there. So, uh, you add a Brian Byrne to that pass rush, they're going to be tough up front. Man. They try to bring I, that race car package back. Bro, I, that's a that's – a That's going to be a tough and, – and it's not like the Giants – Defense was horrific last year. They just couldn't score. They well, yeah. kind of sound very similar actually, but they, they could score <laughs> this year. So that was that was very tough. Uh, Ghost Purple says instead of freaking out and yakking about how the franchise just dug its own grave, I chose to be optimistic about it. I don't think a lot of people realize how this move is going to upgrade the offense. I, I think Definitely. what it is, Ghost Peppers. I look at it look at it as we just look in football years. Uh, one foot, one bad football years is like three years to me. Uh, so we've had six years of losing football. So it seems like twenty. It hadn't been that long, but it really does seem like it. And it I think like you 15. have, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so when you think about it, I think there's this. Here in this franchise now, we are so snake bit and we're so, oh, my goodness, that move might not be good. I, this is one of the few things we haven't tried at quarterback. When is the last time you saw the Falcons, not somebody they re-signed, that they actually went out and got the best free agent quarterback on the, on the uh, market? When's the last time we've done that? I don't think it has. They haven't been done on the market. They've done it via trade, but not the market. Right. Not, um, by, not through the market. Is I, it, I don't think I made a reference. I made a reference the other night. I looked back at uh Chris Chandler's uh Super Bowl season. The year before, 97 and 98. Um, he just came in, did what he needed to do, made the clutch throws, but we, you know, had the run game to back him up. So this team is probably gonna be built just like that, probably. You had Mathis, you had Tony Martin, who came in as a free agent, um, OJ Santiago, Jamal Anderson. You just had weapons around him, and that's what Kirk Cousins is going to have. So if we can emulate that team, go out and get probably one or two pass rushes to help the line, 
I think we can uh, recreate the 1998 season somehow, some way. Right. Dirty Bird said Jeff George. I think Jeff George was a trade. He was traded. Yeah, he was, he was traded. traded from India. Yeah, that was the trade. That was a trade. Not like he was one of the best quarterbacks out there now. Like, you know, he, yeah, he was. He's about, at Jeff that time, George? yeah. Oh, Jeff I mean, George. I know was. Jeff had an arm. Like, I knew he had an arm. But like, was he considered, like, a top 10 guy at that time? Uh, he was. He was borderline. He was, borderline. He was putting up yeah. stats. He was good. He was yeah, a stat he was, guy. Yeah, he was he good. Was, he, but yeah. kind of like kind of like Kirk Cousins. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's okay. But but here's the thing. And, and and look, the point the point for Kirk Cousins. I'm not sitting here trying to blow smoke up anybody and try to act like uh, Kirk Cousins is Patrick Mahomes or anybody like that. But I am saying, but low. What other options were out there for us that had a less degree of? I don't want to say difficulty. What I'm trying to think the word I'm using for. In other words, with the least amount of risk, you're gonna have risk no matter what. There's That's risk true. in everything we're gonna do. From the situations we were looking at prior to Friday, everyone was talking about Kirk Cousins, Justin Fields, Russell Wilson, Baker Mayfield. Those were basically the four. Baker Mayfield and Russell got out of the conversation very quick. Yes. So you're now at Justin Fields, which you have watched the whole league have an opportunity to say from the combine – up to this point, oh, let me put in my bid for Russ. I'm sorry, not for Russ, for Justin. Let me put in my bid. Those bids must have been low because had to be. They they had to be. Remember, we were talking prior to the combine, second round pick. Yeah. After sure the was. combine, nothing. Oh, do you remember me saying last year about Justin Fields that we probably like trade a first round pick for him last year? Oh, that I number went that. all the way down. Absolutely, that number went all the way down. And 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 I'll say this: Look, I want to play conspiracy theory as well. I have a sneaky suspicion. I know what you're gonna say. The Falcons were gonna get Justin Fields. Oh. I really think they were. And I'm gonna tell you what happened. This is Steve. This is Steve. Steve. <laughs> I think. When he came out with the video, especially the one where he had with the Brown brothers, the St. Brown brothers, and then the video that followed with the with the manager taking the jumping picture, up and down. jumping up yeah. and down, I think they might have spoken to him and said, hey, this is maybe what we do, what we're going to do. The combined action in both of those videos did not show a, dare I say, maturity level that maybe Atlanta was saying, you know what? Ooh, we better hold off on this. I, I And that's just me. I, I, I can't speak for anyone else. I'm not trying to say he's a bad guy or, or, or whatever, but maybe there were some things there in those two videos that, there was some moments of youthful. Oh, I get, I get where you're going because maturity yeah. that yeah. that that's that's a sign of leadership. Exactly. And right. if you're not mature enough to handle the team, what can we do? Or so you had to take media. a step back. Yeah, well, yeah. Is it is it too much of a conspiracy theory to say that the Atlanta Falcons are just waiting for the price to continue to go down? It for Justin could be. Fields? It yeah, they, they could still sign him. It's still you possible. Could, could, he only three point two million dollars next year. That ain't nothing. It, 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 and you could now. The only now, if his price drops so low that you don't want to pick up that fifth year, you see what I'm saying? Because when the fifth year, the, you what is the date? Like in May? I know it's right after the draft. That you have yeah, to, it's, uh, to, May. to the, it's May. 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 Where you have to pick. So, so let's say this. 
you're looking at the Raiders, you're looking at Minnesota, you're looking at Denver. I'm thinking of teams that need a quarterback right now or need somebody to infuse a competition guy in there right now. And you can have him for pretty much cheap. Uh, why aren't those teams coming at him, low? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's something that they saw that, you know, maybe – it's the same thing that a lot of Atlanta Falcons fans would say. He's only won 11 games in the last three years. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is, huh? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I'm looking at it right and, now. And one thing one thing it could be, you have to have a special type coordinator to be able to use him in your system. You just can't throw him in any system. You have to build a system around him, sort of like what we did with Michael Vick. That, this is true. I'm, I'm not trying to get everybody – uh, hi, I know Justin Fields isn't here, but let's not pretend like he wasn't in the conversation for a long time. Like oh, Smitty was, was saying, was. like like Smitty was saying, it's not a lot of it's not a lot of money that you would be talking about for 2024. But see that red right two. there, that red that 25 that 25 million dollars. You're not gonna do that for the Falcons now because you got way too much invested in Kirk Cousins to be yeah. paying your second stream. Twenty-five million dollars, even in, even on the, the off chance that uh, things didn't work out with Kirk Cousins, I, you, you're not going to spend sixty million dollars uh, on your quarterback position. unless your name is. But Patrick truth be Mahomes. told, when that fifth year come up, I think he'll be on a new contract and he'll be signed for something much less than twenty-five. Because at that point, I think he'll just be a backup. I'm gonna just keep it real with y'all. This is a good question right here for both of you uh, from. Uh, uh, the Dirty Birds, he says, I like the fact that we have a pocket passer now. Now we can get our playmakers the ball. What do y'all think about now having, going back to probably vintage Matt Ryan, I would think. Uh, what do y'all think about having your traditional pocket passer in now, now with the weapons that we have on this team? Do you think that's a plus or it really doesn't matter? It's still just matters how the quarterback is going to play, period. doesn't have anything to do with being a dual threat or anything like that. Yeah, I don't care if he I don't care if he delivered the ball while doing cartwheels. Like, <laughs> I just want to win. So, it's like I've seen I've seen guys who who are mobile quarterbacks get the get the ball to playmakers. Um, you know, Kyle Kaepernick used to do it uh with Vernon Davis and Michael Crabtree. Um, you know, I I I just you know, the fact that he's a pocket passer, that's less chance that he could take off running. But at the end of the day, as long as our score is higher than the other team's score, I'm good. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, I actually I actually love what he's going to bring uh, as far as um, being able to anticipate throws and read defenses. I think that's going to be a plus for the offense and the offensive coordinator. Uh, so I think Kyle Pitts finally gets back to his rookie year. Uh, the way he played his rookie year, I think Drake London, um, I think he gets bigger numbers, and this actually benefits Bijan more than anybody. Yes. Because if you're in play action or you're in shotgun, um, you can run draws or the play action, you can, you know, just open up the middle of the field. And I think they're going to do that with a Kirk because that's why I said it's important that they go get that number one receiver. Antara Moody says Michael Vick was Dan Reed's shiny new car and had a plan. Blank's first mistake, getting rid of Dan Reed. Agreed. I think he should have stayed at least another year or two because he was just getting his footing with his team under a new uh, regime. And, and if you remember that situation, Mike Vick got hurt that year. I mean, yeah, he what did. was he supposed to do? That, I, thought yeah, he that did. Was, I thought that was like one of the cold-blooded but you know what that was, though? That's probably the reason that we had the run of first first year NFL coaches for the first uh would would that be five times? So you talk Mora, uh Patino, Mora, Patino, Patino. Smith, yeah. Quinn, Arthur Smith. Uh finally he decided to change up his ways. But uh I don't know, y'all. I was I was never a big fan. I, I I know what he did for the Falcons the last couple of years. I wasn't, I wasn't a big Dan Reeves 
Right. And one thing about Dan Reeves' team, you knew they were going to be disciplined. That's true. Yeah. Like, like that's you knew true. They, like, weren't, they weren't going to be making any dumb penalties. Like, they were going to be disciplined, and they were going to be in shape. Um, different. Look, different like, era. Look, look. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Different, different era, though. Uh, yeah. The when, you, right. when you're dealing, with, you you got You right. have to be more than, you know, the good old days of uh, just a regular coach. Are are gone. I was looking yeah. yesterday at the uh, just drawing a parallel. I was looking at the NCAA women's game championship yesterday with LSU and uh, South Carolina. And I love Don Staley, and I and I like Kim Mulkey and stuff like that. You got to deal with these attitudes. You got to deal with the new way of things. You got to you you have to be more than the coach for these yeah. folks. That's true. These days, right. it's not it's not about uh, just uh, the X's and O's and 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 trying to say discipline. You're gonna have a couple of folks on your team that's gonna push that uh, push you over a little bit. Uh, I'm thinking Antonio Brown, somebody like when he was with Tampa Bay, but you have to be that psychologist to deal with, with that kind of stuff. Dan Reeves, I, I just think the Mike Vick era kind of, I don't know. I, I, I you just, just feel you just like think time had done passed him by. Time had passed him by, brother. Even though he was probably unjustly fired, I think eventually – I don't know. Just because he did the dirty bird up on the stage didn't mean he was changing with the times, like everybody thinks, in my in my opinion. Um, Josh Gilliam, uh, Gilliam, I'm sorry. He says, Arthur Blank's desperate at this point. Only owners who are desperate would give a hundred million dollars guarantee for a 36-year-old coming off an Achilles tear. Gotta get Arthur Blank out of here. Did Arthur Blank Ooh. panic, y'all? Did Arthur Blank panic, Low? Do you think he did? No. He took his time. Yeah, I mean, to a certain extent, I think Arthur Blank has been panicking for the last <laughs> few years. I feel like that's why Matt Ryan ended up leaving because, you know, the whole Deshaun Watson situation. Um, and, But I feel like him, first of all, with Rich McKay taking a step back, if if he did, because they may have just told us that he did, but I, I feel like he, just like Smitty said, he really took his time and this whole process. Um, you know, nothing really got leaked. They nearly didn't make any inclinations. Um, and you know, they look if, if they if they're going to go ahead and give this kind of money to a thirty five year old quarterback coming off of Achilles tear, that same. Quarterback, that same offensive coordinator who said that Patrick Mahomes was going to be Patrick Mahomes before he was Patrick Mahomes, like the same guy that scouted him out, if he says that Kirk Cousins is going to be the guy to help win us the Super Bowl, then I'm all for it. Right. Got a lot of folks in here. Uh, cool Cutter, uh, uh, Dilla, Dilla Don, uh my brother Justin is in the house. He said, with us signing Cousins, did Grady play his last snap? Uh, I don't think so. I think Grady might no. be they, they looking for to possibly redo his deal. I know uh, Grady's deal was not uh, the friendliest at the moment, but I, I think. Yeah, I think they add on years and yeah. take the cap down, down just yeah. a little bit. Yeah, I, I feel Matter of fact, if I if I look if we look real quick at the Atlanta situation, I was talking to Lo about this earlier. Uh, I think you have some potential guys that you you can probably ask to to see if they can uh, shore up some of hit some of this uh, salary. I'm looking at Jake Matthews. I, I I think Jake might be on one of those last couple of years. I'm, I don't see Jake Matthews being here past 2025. Remember, I don't think Matthews. I don't think he I think this is last year to be honest. Um, y'all y'all remember he's a Matthews now. The, the boys yeah. they they play for a long time. They, they do play for let that this is true. They do have a tendency to play for a long time. I'm looking at Grady Jarrett, that 15 million dollar hit. And I'm, and I'm trying to go to his uh right now. Um they can actually if they wanted to they could get out of that right now with only an eight million dollar hit this year. They can yep. get out of that whole uh, 
situation. I think because of the guy that he is and because he's kind of the heart and soul of this team, I have a feeling they'll go to him and see if they can do something about this restructure right here. With with the Kirk Cousins move, Smitty, what's your thoughts on Grady Jarrett uh, still being on this roster uh, in 2020? I think uh, I think he retires a Falcon. Um, I think they signed him to one more extension and let him play that out. His uh, last year is actually in 2025. I think they'll restructure to 2027, and that'll be that. Um, I think they can still make cap space if they do that. Uh, and you can't afford to lose the heart and soul of your defense. Just saying. And I don't fall in love with players. I'm just being real. Now, if they released or traded him, I wouldn't be surprised. But my gut feeling that he retires a foul. I know when Lowe was emotional about Felipe Frank getting cut a couple of years ago, it was one of those foul for life things he was saying. Uh, what do you, what do you think, uh, Low, about uh, Grady Jarrett and his restructuring? <laughs> I I agree with Smitty. I feel like he's a Falcon for life. Um, he be one Felipe of or Grady? No, Grady. <laughs> 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 the only <laughs> the only Falcon Felipe Franks would be is, is if he went to the uh, I don't know uh, the Oklahoma City Falcons. <laughs> and played on their rugby team. That's the only Falcons I can see Felipe Franks being moving forward. <laughs> Y'all ain't right. Y'all leave Felipe alone. Um, but other candidates I was looking at that could be uh, – Lindstrom's not going anywhere. I could see them possibly trying to do something with his cap. Jesse's not going anywhere. I could see them messing with him. Uh, McGarry is at a point uh, – I, I think you got one more year with him and you can – um, be done with that. The big move, I think, is AJ Terrell. That's the twelve million dollars is what we owe on that fifth year contract. Do y'all see us working a contract deal out with him? Because I think that would lower some things down. Do y'all see us uh, working that number down, or do you think AJ uh, is playing his last year as a foul? That's a good question. Uh, um, oof. From what I've been hearing about LeJarrius Sneed, if they actually are going after him, um, I can see AJ getting traded because uh, I don't see both of those guys with long-term deals. You're going to have to let go of one of those guys. Uh, so if they go after LeJarrius Sneed and get him for like a second, AJ gets traded too. And we will see in the upcoming weeks leading up to the draft because I think we're a long way from seeing uh, players being moved. Uh, but if not, he possibly uh, could sign a deal, but like I said with Grady, you got to pick or choose which one you're going to keep. Can't keep everybody. See, Marina said he didn't want to listen to a big little sample. He said he wanted to listen to it. I love Felipe. I love, Felipe. <laughs> I, I love he, that's, You know, they don't ask for a little. I don't see any Superman chat uh, requests. I don't see him. I don't see him. I see them asking for Uncle oh, Steve. Okay. I think that's well, But uh, think what, do you, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> what do you what do you think, Low AJ? Um, and I also didn't also put in the option too, as Smitty was talking about Jadarius Jad Sneed. Uh, maybe even trading AJ, you can't just let him walk away like that. Uh, AJ would probably at least at this point fetch you a maybe second rounder. I mean, he's a second I, rounder. I, I guess. I guess my whole thing is is that it's like if. AJ, it seems like AJ is one of those guys. He's like a core guy. And if Raheem Morris is sitting here saying we're a quarterback away from being contenders or making a Super Bowl run, I just don't see us just letting AJ go. Like he's, you, you see what I'm saying? So oh, I, 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 I see. Yeah, so I, I, I don't know if it'll be a situation where I, I can see them making that move. I, I, I'm feeling you 100. percent I think. Uh, AJ is a good cornerback, y'all. Yeah, I think we're here and we see a lot of things. We see the burnt play against Mike Evans. We see a couple of plays where he might, uh, you know, lose a step and things like that. But you know, AJ is not a bad cornerback. I would argue, uh, he's probably close to the top fifteen cornerback in this game right now. No, he's top ten. Top, he top and, 10. Okay, I'll I'll go that far. 
So it's it's easy to talk about possibly giving him away, but then Lord, you see the money that uh they just paid uh what's my guy? Uh Kurt Cousin. back from, from the from the uh Bears. Oh, uh, and, yeah, uh, Jalen Johnson. Yeah. Was it twenty? No, it's nineteen million. So he's gonna be in the same range. So so if you look at that, look, I'm not trying to take away AJ's money more than anybody else, but I'm like, ooh, wee. You're talking about a lot of money. Now, also, we also we have to keep in mind that this salary cap, we keep making 20 to 30 million dollar income jumps like we've been the last couple of years. Uh, we might not be talking about this uh so much. The average cornerback might get 20. The average running back, the running back is taking the hit. Uh the average yeah, running, running back, back looks like they're around about, 10. Yeah. 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 I mean, look look at Saquon and, and Jacobs. Those are the top guys, and I think they maxed out at what 12, 11? 12, yeah, 12, 12. Something, something like that. Think about a couple of years ago. What did McCaffrey get? Uh three uh, years ago? 17. Yeah. So so that market has completely gone down. So which so which jumps back to it. Think about it. Think about Derrick Henry. He probably won't get about eight. Yeah. Derek not gonna get paid. That, that body been board. used, man. That body, that body is 300 carries a year. You know, see, you, you got to think about that wear and tear. Speaking of running backs on our team, you, you got to think about next year. Tyler Algier, you have to make some decisions. Tyler Algier is not going to make it to the end of his contract with Atlanta. I think next year, if he has another productive year, you got to think about moving on from him. Because Man, I, you, you got to get I a draft. I actually like the kid year. out of Wisconsin, uh, Brandon Allen. He's a Derrick Henry type running back. I can see him in the, on day two uh, in Atlanta. You got to prep for the future every year. It just don't stop. Also, Cam Akers as well. I think he's like 24, 25. He knows, like, he knows the pass blocking schemes and everything uh, very well for Zach Robinson's offense. Uh, Antoine uh, Wartime mentioned the uh, Brian Burns going from Carolina to the Giants. I would love to have him on the team. Yeah, I, as somebody that I have – I tell the fellas about all the time. I said Brian Burns would be lovely in Atlanta, but uh, he was extorting the man's family at the game. Bruh, I, 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 it, <laughs> <laughs> I interviewed every last one when they were over there stealing beers. Not stealing beers. I was over there giving them free beers. Like, yo, yo, y'all come to Atlanta. I was. He was. I was like, hey, do what you got to do. Up. I would turn the other way. I was like, I ain't be involved in this. <laughs> My <laughs> Brian, Brian Burns family is like, yeah, 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 bro. We'll interview all, you all day. Y'all gonna drink them beers over there? Like, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> By any means necessary. Shout out, Get the shout job out done. to Burns family, boy. They, they, that's a, that's a good deal for him, man. Uh, good local guy. Uh, when you start talking about that, said, uh, said, cool cutter says top ten corner. We good with uh, AJ. And uh, John Higgins in the house. John says, oh, what's up, big, low country, smooth Smitty, and Uncle Steve, I'm just so lost. I guess he does not like the move. I'm going to call you later, big John. I, I explained it to you. John, John doesn't like that, man. He, he said, not he said like that, wasn't, that wasn't good. Uh, get a couple of last ones here before we wrap it up. Said Mar Marcel uh -oh, Mar Mareka. Oh, man. I'm sorry, Mr. Cummings. Uh, would you would you bring in Chase Young or Hunter? I absolutely would, but it depends on the price, man. I again, I go back to our brother uh, who got paid today. Uh, that went from Houston to uh, Minnesota. Minnesota. That's a lot of money lot you're paying, and not that he wasn't a good motor guy, but I can only imagine that they are Hunter. He's only what twenty nine. Yep. So. Dad, ain't he? That, I, I like 29. 28, 29. So if you think he got that money, man, think what Hunter is going to get. Hunter going to be at least 21. I think that's at, his market value. At least 21. So when you start talking, uh, Smitty was talking about possibly trading for somebody like a Khalil back where they would, you know, end up taking care of some of that bonus money they already own. We'd be paying him his base salary. Uh, he could be a possible uh, Calais guy, like a leader right. to come in and, and kind of solidify the defense. Uh, 
is there any trade person that you would bring in here, uh, low that you think could help this team out? We talked about free agents. What about a trade? Bring me T. Higgins. I would love a Mr. T. Higgins to come be the other wide receiver. And, you know, if we're going to if we gonna set it off, like, let's set it off. Yeah. We on the same page, Lo. <laughs> T. Higgins Got would to. be good, but T. And Higgins is Justin franchise. Yep. And T. Higgins is going to cost you a, a draft pick at yeah. this point. At least, right? at, 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 at least a at second. At least a second. When you were looking at the situation with uh, Carolina and the move they did with Burns, uh, signing him off the franchise, they, I I don't know the uh, terms of that. What was was there a draft pick exchange in that Brian Burns second move? and a fifth, a second and a fifth. Oh, yes, that's pretty good. Yep, second okay, and got fifth. Over on, yeah. They got over on that. Yeah, because I think Burns is probably a first round uh, yes, grade sir. person that you would bring. Oh that's yeah, that. easily. That's that's a pretty good move. Um, I think that's somebody that. You know, when you start talking about the Falcons, Higgins, Higgins is a beast boy. Are you gonna invest that much in? Uh, are you gonna invest that much in him? Twenty million dollars. Well, I well, I see it Justin Jefferson, so it's gonna be just as much, if not more. Yeah, yeah, oh, more than that. Higgins, Higgins, yeah. in, in Higgins, and just I, I look at Justin Jefferson along with Tyreek in a, in a whole different category. I think those guys yeah. are different category guys. I don't I, I like Higgins a lot. I think Higgins is a top 10 guy. I, I I'm not sure we um uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if I made that big investment with 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 Higgins like that. Do y'all think he's worth that? Is he better than, is he much better than Pitt? Is he much better than Pitt? I know he's better than Pittman, but is he much better than Pitt? I don't think. Mm, he I would say I, I, yeah I because. Think, I I, do you? Okay. I, Go ahead. I think he better than Pittman because Pittman got he he got butterfingers. He done had a good bit of drops. You know his first couple of years. So, so, so hand wise, I think. Uh, Go ahead. No, 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 no. I, let me fin finish your thought while I'm looking this up. Go ahead. Keep going. Oh, oh yeah. Um, yeah. I think T Higgins would be um a high top high dollar receiver, but I just can't go up to twenty one. I would probably stop in the seventeen range. Uh, Michael Pittman, he got about 20 something. And uh, to me, he's in the 15 range. So you're going to overpay for either, either of those guys because they're not on Justin Jefferson's level. And that's why I went Justin Jefferson. If you're going to pay top dollar for a receiver, why not go to the top of the pinnacle? And, and, and I think that was my biggest point that I was making with that. You, you kind of answered my own question that we're going to have to overpay for, for a need position. We just overpaid tremendously for the quarterback position in an overpay. Uh, we overpaid but, for but Jesse Bates last can year. Can you seriously say we overpaid when that's the market? What's the okay? Uh, Daniel but, Daniel but, Jones got forty million. Exactly. Think he, about it. Okay, and he's a he's a third tier quarterback. Were you still buying them eggs eight months ago? Huh? You still buy $8 a pop. Exactly. You still buy them. <laughs> here's, here's the difference, fellas. Here's the difference. Great, great point. Here's my point. Go ahead. Kirk Cousins hit the market in a great year. Remember last year, uh, Herbert Burroughs and, and, and Mahomes restructured and Hertz got paid. Those were guys that were all coming up. And, and those guys are, I think, a, a notch above when you start talking about level of quarterback. I know J uh, Jalen fell back a little bit. I think Kirk Cousins lucked up this year because he really didn't have a key. Kirk Cousins at best is a very good quarterback. There's nobody's going to – are we even insinuating he's elite? That's not Right? So – is it that Kirk Cousins was so great that that was the market or Kirk Cousins, there was no other option? Again, we've all talked about it. 36-year-old Achilles. Daniel Jones, at least, the one thing you can say is he has time on his hands. 
da- Daniel Jones can yeah, be that's true. A, a, a franchise quarterback for years and years. You have not seen any 36-year-olds aside of Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers, which, of course, we're not comparing Cousins to him. And Brett Favre. To them. Uh, that would be in that stratosphere of quarterback. Matter of fact, I would say Kirk Cousins in any other year would probably get a, a contract closer to Geno Smith and Baker Mayfield. But because he was the guy – in 2024, and there is no one else. Go look it up. There's nobody else on this list. I think the next person in line might be Ryan Tannehill. There's no one else on this list. So I hear what y'all saying about the market value and the little spoil eggs that low eats. But I think that we look at the the market this year just happened to be much, but. In, in his favor this year? The, the best way I can look at it is, like I said the other night, um, I look at it, the best way is we've seen quarterbacks in the past that were three, four-tier quarterbacks, such as a Trench Dilfer and a Brad Johnson, win Super Bowls. You just got to put the right team around him. So all he has to do is come through in the clutch, manage the game, and – throw touchdown passes, and we fine. If, like, just like last year, we throw with a total of about 17, 18 touchdowns the whole season. If we get anywhere from 28 to 32 touchdowns from Kirk Cousins, that's got to be a playoff spot. It's got to be. Yeah. Especially because there's going to be more points on the board. So and Kirk Cousins through 18, through eight games. Right. 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 He, was, he was actually leading the NFL at that point. At that time. Yeah, Bijan Bijan's gonna average one ten. What he's gonna average one ten with in this it. particular offense because you're not gonna I have Aiden the box. It. You're not gonna have safeties dropping in because you have to respect the passing game. Now nobody respected Desmond Ritter's passing game, contrary to what whatever the fan base of Mister Ritter believed. Nobody was respecting it. So now you're you're at a spot where you have a guy even at 36 even off of Achilles injury that you have to respect and I think yeah. that's going to make a big difference in uh, next year. Guys I know I've kept you guys longer than I had expected. I said I was going to go over right, an hour. Man. I know it's we all, right. all are. It's going to be busy the next couple of days not only with the Kirk Cousins signing but potential signings for the Atlanta Falcons, but I'm not going to hold you because I have a, a audition uh, today to uh, sing with Beyonce. We got oh. a song called uh, Georgia Spades, which oh, okay. is the follow up to Texas. Hold it. Uh, hold it. So, I just I just got one question. What's if that, you sir? getting paid since you a member of the group, do we all get paid as we a all, whole? We, that, that's how I got the contract set up. So we all. Speak. Smitty, I already talked about them. Smitty, yeah, them contracts. <laughs> we, Smitty, I'll holler at you later, man. Them we contracts. All got <laughs> we all got, a, we all got a piece of that pie. Uh. Go say your heart out. Uh, I, I did, I did have a question. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Before, before we left, talk to and, me. And, and I hope it doesn't take up too much time. Um, no, no. All right, so in the spirit of because you know we're we're a man band, we're not a boy band, we're a man okay. band. Oh, in the spirit of man bands, if you could get four individual R&B artists from past or present to make your R&B group, who would you choose? Oh, boy, that's a challenge. No, it's not, it's not that hard for me. I've, I've got three right off the bat. Uh, okay. Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye, Donnie Hathaway. And golly, I don't want to... The sad thing is, I want to say Luther, but Luther to me is such a solo guy. He is. That that is. that I, I think it's almost disrespectful to put him in that category. So I'm not gonna do it. Let's go Stevie, Marvin, Donnie Hathaway, and, and just to give a little love to to the new school music soul child. Oh. You yeah, you I'm ain't really gonna be able to beat one. that with a stick. Oh. 
I dare y'all to come up with some a force. I would, I would, I would, I would, I would have added Eddie Levert. And it, it is not a bad move. It is not a bad move. It is good. But I, but I also need somebody that's not gonna sweat a lot. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie sweat. <laughs> Eddie, <laughs> Eddie get into one that. line. It gonna be a slip and fall. He, he get into one line of love uh, train. And he <laughs> Hello. Yeah, boy, that, 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 hey, that bacon uh, grease be uh, everywhere. <laughs> that bacon grease be popping on the stove. <laughs> uh. I heard my upper mind. I heard my upper mind the other day. I ain't messing with y'all. That's one of them songs, man. That's one of them songs, Yo, man. man. Forever, forever, ever mind is, is, is one. Oh, we got, we got a, a, a super chat coming in. I cannot ignore the super chat. I'm on. One more time for. I <laughs> want a super chat. Talk to you to the. Oh, I want that super chat. Oh. Boy, y'all don't, y'all y'all just don't know boy. My my viewpoint. Thank you very much for supporting. He said I was against Kurt, but I support and believe in Fontenot's acumen. In Morris's judgment, I am on board. Agreed. Let's go, Falcon Agreed. fans! Great job, fellas, especially Uncle Steve. Thank you for those exquisite <laughs> vocals. Thank you, thank you, my viewers. You, you see that. how, Lord, you just I, seen how he ran through the period. Y'all can't see the y'all can't see the other part. Y'all can't the see the other. I can't see the. Other I, I don't see it. Here. I'm looking for and, it. Yeah, it's just kind. Of, it's kind of hard, you know. Oh, you know, uh, okay. okay. Latoya Jones is on here. She said, we have a first-time OC, a veteran quarterback that knows the system should make this a smooth exactly. process. Exactly. Yes, yes, it exactly. will. Yes, it will. Um, out of your Falcon minds in the house, what's going on, fellas? Say, we got something to talk about, fellas. Yes, sir. Y'all make sure, speaking of talk about, y'all check out Out of Your Falcon Mind. John and Mike will have it going on. I can't wait to hear John and Mike's view yes. on what just went down today is is gonna facts, be facts. uh Larry asked the question. Larry he said, Why does uh Bo look jealous of Steve's super chat sounding? Now I I'm, I'm just confused. I, I'm not I, jealous. Larry, I, I'm just confused. I, I it's like it comes by, out of nowhere. By no I, means I don't, it doesn't sound like Uncle Steve. <laughs> it sounds like a son. I I mean I don't I, to this day, I don't I don't I, I, until he does it live. I, I don't know if I can believe it, Larry. So that's why I'm looking confused. Larry, Larry um, you, you can see that hate in his heart, Larry. You can see it through the screen. You can see it through that foggy screen he got on. That his. <laughs> that he, <got laughs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, he got that moonlight screen. Remember when we used to look at moonlight and, and Sybil Shepherd always used to have a little. <laughs> the a little shade. A screen a little screen. Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> Uh oh, I think it got worse. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> what <in the> world? <laughs> Get you some glass cleaner. It's <laughs> over one by night. Oh, <laughs> bye bye day. John Higgins said Eddie LeBert, oh. Teddy Pendergrass, Gerald LeBert, and Luther Vandrum. Oh. That's a good that's a good portion right there, too. Man. Yeah, that's a good one. That's 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 a, that's a real What's good yours, Smitty? Right I'm in line with Unc. Only one I would change out is uh probably the new school and uh because I'm just old I'm an old school guy. Uh-huh. So yeah, I can uh, new school it just don't intrigue me. The only artist that I think that could go with the old school is R. Kelly because that dude is just a genius. <laughs> yeah, yeah. R. Kelly gotta get out of jail first. He can't be <laughs> <laughs> This portion of the show is now brought to you by <laughs> Uncle Steve's Lounge. <laughs> Any talk of R. Kelly was not responsible for it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got a, we got another, a super, another super chat. <laughs> another super chat in the house. Oh, super man. chat. Super chat. Super chat. Yeah, he's been on all night, though. Ooh, got on the, 
Boy, you can't get that on no big blow. Todd Dollar. <laughs> Dollar, what's going on, man? Appreciate you. Man. Oh, man. He said, I wanted Justin. My thinking was uh, we would have went with a younger long-term option, but all I can do is hope that it's work out. Logo over over players. I agree yes, with you 100% and appreciate the support. I, I absolutely hear you, man. Absolutely hear you. It, it's a... Uh, that somebody trying to take up for you? Who is that up here? I'm gonna have to delete that. Uh, no, what you talking about? Uh, <laughs> Travis, Travis Preston mistakenly said, "Don't re respect the big low roughing." He probably thank you so much. Travis. He probably I, meant I, I big low's rough voice. Did, I, that, is that what you no, meant, Travis? No, Travis, no, come. No, that's a, Travis, retype that, bro. You nah, probably it, it go, it's gonna be the same thing. Oh man, you we probably all know, we all know. you probably hit that. We all know. You probably hit the wrong button. T know. T W says bowl the real the lead single for sure. Really? Exactly. Who you, you paid? You, you, now, now you almost said right the first time. You almost said right first time. The real. You, you, go ahead and say it. Go to tell the truth. Go ahead and say the real how, lead single. How, how related are you? You related? You related? <laughs> it just it just trying to get that verses out the way. I'm just telling you. We just got to find I mean, way. that again. Just keep scared. ducking me, Smitty. I'm he ran scared. I threw the gauntlet down. I told him whenever he wanted to karaoke and whatever. And I, I actually, I think I got it on recording. But I, I think I got it on record right here. Hold on. Let me play it. Let me play it. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can find it. Uh-oh. Hey. Uh, he might be a little low, low, low tonight, though. He can't find it. Uh -huh. He's lucky I can't. I actually uh -huh. made something. I actually made something. <laughs> I already know it's funny because uh, hold uh, on, I'll give I'll give you the live version. Hold on a second. Hey, hey, Lo, what's going on? <laughs> hey, oh, hey, oh, I'm scared, man. What you scared of, Lo? Lo, what's up? You're my buddy, man. I can't sing. I'm a fraud. I'm a fraud, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Man, Coach Roney took me and she paid for classes. Ain't nothing I could do. Lo, don't worry about that, man. Lo, we're still down, bro. <laughs> me and Smitty and Berto Willie in the group. I appreciate it, bro. Don't, don't, don't tell everybody. All right. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that, was the, that was the recording. Oh, man, boy, the hate is real, boy. The Mama said, real. Teddy Pendergrass, Eddie, LaVert, all the Scott twins from the Whispers. Yeah. Ooh. So, yeah. That's, 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 a good one. that's good. Good one. That's good. I, I, yeah. That, that's good. Absolutely. Uh, TW said, uh, definitely the shy lights after adding Larry for the four. Okay. Okay. Try to put Larry in there. Uh, Dixon Way said, we need a versus. Big Low versus Uncle Steve. Super chat. Uh, you know, Larry, look, I believe in charity like the next person. I don't, ha I don't have a problem with it. And if, you know, we want to make him look a little better, that's fine. I mean, I, I'm all for helping out the needy. So Smitty and myself, we'll go to do a, uh, you know, we'll record something and try to put Big Low in a better light, get him some auto-tune and see what we can do to get, auto -tune. you know. I don't need yeah. no auto-tune. <laughs> oh. News, uh, HBCU, what's going on? He said, Nat King Cole, Ooh. James Brown. Dang. Jeffrey Osborne and Frankie Bell. Frankie Beverly might be the most underrated, man, one of the I most think, underrated. Yeah, he underrated. Yeah, it, I think, he's I going out on his it. last tour. I think they well. got it. I think they got yeah. it. That's that's a that's a great. Uh, that's a good Travis one. Travis Steele on that wacky weed. He's like, do not dis <laughs> disrespect <laughs> talk about the, the, like the big low roughing. Pay that man. We ain't paying him nothing. I think. Man. I think. Uh, I think he got. I think he got paid off to say that. Cause I, I think he did. I man, think. See, y'all just good as grace. Smitty, Smitty, hold on, Smitty. So listen, much hate. Listen. Do you hear some keystroke? Is he? Is he testing? Is he texting Travis right now and telling? 
Don't be trying to act. You know you go to go type to you. Don't be trying to look at I'll see your fingers. I'll see your fingers right here. <laughs> he got another one. Oh, that's good. Otis, Otis Redding. Ooh. Otis Redding. James Sam Brown. Cook. Sam yeah. Cook is another yeah. good one. Yeah. Yeah. Sam Cook. Man. That's real good. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. TW said, I'll show up and pay to see that karaoke battle. Oh, what are you trying to hey, do? What, 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 what the pay per view price going to be? That's a question. What are you trying to do this on? Like when? Uh, like, like when? Like I mean, we need to. I mean, it's the off season. I I think I think if y'all okay, let's let's put it this way. We got a lot of people in the chat. If y'all actually want to see Big Low lose, I mean, see Big Low and myself do a karaoke challenge. So once and for all, we can kind of get this off the board. Put a one in the chat. If y'all want to see Big Low versus Uncle Steve in a mini versus. Now I don't know. I, I, I don't even care where it is. We'll, you know, we'll get it together. We'll get it and, together. And see what we what we'll do. We'll get it together. <laughs> and, 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 and and figure it out. I, I think I think we can make it happen. Travis I'm, I'm, said I'm ready. Travis says, uh, Gerald LeVert, Luther, and Big Low Ruff. No. Travis. Boy, See Travis that, don't you? Uh, ain't nobody Travis said that. Hey. Nobody said nothing about Uncle Steve. Y'all get the ones in there now. If we get enough ones, I we, we'll, we'll make it happen. And, and what we'll do is we'll wait till after the draft, because that's when all of the, the drama is, is, is done. We'll, we'll wait till after the draft, and, and we'll see. Uh what's going on. I definitely see. Okay, I finally see. Okay. Ain't no, ain't nobody I, said nothing about Steve. Mr. I see, in in whole, I see some ones in here. I see I see some ones. I see the dicks. I see Antoine. I see you. JC, TW, uh, Trader, uh, Mike Marion, Shaka Zulu. Okay, y'all. Okay, that's that's cool. We, Hey, look. We'll, we'll put this together. And we'll get it together. We'll we'll try to we'll try to work on something. But but the whole thing is what we have to do, y'all. What we have to do to set it up, we have to have what we, what we do like three songs that have to be the same, and maybe one song to show off our own talent. Three or four, three either three to four songs that have to be the same, and then. Um, then we'll do one song. Sorry, sorry. It's gonna be hard because I don't think you could put Baby Shark in there for a low. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna ask him to I'm songs that are disqualified for low. Mary yeah. had a little lamb. I just look at Baby Rain Shark. Comment. That's all. I'm Baby Shark. The I'm theme to Sesame Ray. Street. Wow. Um, all the songs that ba that 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 he's probably good. Oh, at. Lord. Mama Johnson, I called you at. Mama Johnson called you out. Mama Johnson called you out. Wow. Wow. Even mom turned it on me. What you do to my mom when she came when you came over here, Low? I think, I, I, think she, I think she just heard like the just how natural my voice sounded. And she was wow. like, oh yeah, yeah, he could sing, sing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Larry got it right. Four uh, songs that are the same and one song to show your rank. That, that'll that's work. fair. That's fair. I so, would do so, the same songs as Uncle because you know Uncle Steve, the song I want songs that's gonna that's, that's gonna accentuate my personality and my voice. Like I could do one of the same ones, but I mean again, just, uh Kids Bop is only I mean, how many how many songs do they have on the Kids Bop soundtrack? Uh, I mean, did you uh, got uh, I mean I'm just trying to figure out. What, you said, what, 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 what kind of I hate that uh, it's real, boy. I, and that, see, this is why whatever whatever it goes down, it's going down. I ain't going like because I was going to take it easy on you, but now now I, I, I'm I'm just going to let it go. I ain't for the I ain't for the play the games with you. All right. This okay. So Smitty, you're gonna have to play Dana White. You'll be Dana White in this thing, and and you you'll do the promotion, 
and, and we're gonna have to get this together because we have to do a I go, press conference I, first. I make up a flyer. <laughs> yeah. mm. so we're gonna have to do a press conference first. And then, oh, oh man. Yeah, we have to do a press conference. And then moving forward, you know, we'll go, you know, we'll go into doing the you know battle. Hey. We set up in rounds. You know. Jamal Jamal Martin says possible song suggestion Maxwell this woman's work he don't want none of that oh his, no. his voice can't C. even hit that high Uncle C don't want that he can't he can't hit that high yeah, Uncle C don't well want y'all that. if y'all saying that the, the whole live gonna blow up hey ego ego you don't want none of that when I when I, see I throw I throw the challenge out see we'll do something like I call your name from Switch you don't want none of that you don't want none of that hey. Y- y- y'all want none. I, and, and you know, I end up doing sorts of like, you know, I like it by other bars, you know. You know so what 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 songs I see mom say that she said take suggestions from the chat. What songs would y'all like to hear since this is absolutely going off the, the wheels? Uh I think uh, our buddy Padre's in the house. I think he's saying my 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 or either he said my uncle Steve is the man. I can't remember which one. He's it, putting it, it up there. the first one. It, that's, I think that's what he's saying. Um, oh man, Travis, man, Travis, man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to get you to unsubscribe, Travis. He's talking about Uncle Steve <laughs> stick the pool hall stick. That's what we try to tell you. Huh? <laughs> that's what we try to tell you. <laughs> hey, Travis, oh, I'm on the corner, Travis. <laughs> Travis just Travis just done pushed you all the way off the car. Travis did just kick me to the left, man. If, if y'all feel like Uncle Steve will win the karaoke battle, put a two in the chat. If you feel see, like Big Low will win it, put a three in the chat. See that's Shouts out fair. to Team Three. Yeah. See, Shouts that's out not, to Team that's Three. That's not. That's not fair. That's well, not well, fair. Why that not fair? Uh, they haven't gotten enough samples of of what you know a brother can do. Like I mean, you you you, you, done, you done composed a whole album of super chats. I think they I mean, look, 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 look at this. Who we got? She hit the super chat each day. See, you, know, you can't get them notes. <laughs> no, but, uh, you can't do that. You can't hit them notes. Thank you. Look, everybody who's in the two, I'm going to tell y'all what. Y'all got special. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, special I want to hear that one more time. You, you out of control. Special. I want to hear that one more time. I, I, oh, run that back, Uncle Steve. Run, run that, that back, back one more time. Now. Hold on, hold on. Here you go. <laughs> Super chat each day. See, y'all can't. Ooh! Y'all can't even. <laughs> 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 and I'll even go Michael oh. McDonald on y'all, too. We can. I keep forgetting <laughs> you here anymore. See, you can't forget things will never be the same <laughs> <Is> again. <laughs> forget all the minutes to be. What? I keep forgetting y'all. Now our him is here. Oh, that was kind of that was kind of scratchy. Yeah, that, 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 that was that was that was like that's that kind of scratchy. Huh? That I, see, was... I see more too, Frankie. You invited to the birthday party. That's that's that's, that's <laughs> say that. All these three people, Padre, you shout are, you to, are shout Padre out to ridden off. Three, squad. Three's up. You EW know what is ridden is. off. <laughs> <laughs> Damn swag said this is a smart move. <laughs> Don Higgins say some heat wave and Lenny Lenny Williams oh, add some LTD. Man, he said, yeah, always and forever, oh, bro. Don't, heat wave, don't make me go. Dang, oh Ooh, man, yeah, mm, mm, mm. Oh, boy, no heat out of control. I, I, that boy, see, I was ready to get off on a good note and I mean, and do all that till, till you note. started. That. It's a great. Note. We we great we note. we gonna we gonna get this together. And, and we'll put that together. I appreciate all of the insight, everybody except Travis Preston, who is blocked. I, I just let you talk about. <laughs> he said, "Travis said logo breakout reasons that make your eyes, but he make my eyes go blind." That's <laughs> what he, he can't <laughs> see. I can't even do reasons. <laughs> look, and, and look, the thing is that the thing is we're gonna do it live, like in person. Like so, when oh, yeah. you're gonna be on here? Yeah. You're gonna be because because you know well, I'm a performer. Like I don't See, just sing. I'm, I'm gonna dance with it too. You know. Yeah, you know. 
So now, we add dancing to it. You don't have a chance. Yeah, <laughs> you, you ain't gonna have a chance if we dance. I'm gonna oh. tell you that on a bad oh. knee. Oh, come on. With the Steve, August, those shot. Hey, hey, look, I, August Steve from Bankhead, he can dance. And I'm about to you, Smitty, you got to tell him about something. Oh, you got to tell him. On. Come on. Now, we, we all, everybody know. Everybody everybody already know. <laughs> Padre oh. say love ballot for the for the tiebreaker. <sighs> Boy, I tell you what, I'm going to have to. Can't one of y'all handle that song. That's a, that's, a, that's a tough song. That, that that love ballad is that, actually there's a George Benson version that I actually like that's a little more up tempo. I don't know if y'all ever heard that one before. George Benson got a version of uh, love yeah, ballad. I heard it. The, the slow version. Woo. Yeah, Jeffrey Jeffrey put it put yeah, in that one. Put his foot in so, now. Yeah, he he did that. Uh, Larry said Gerald LeBert, Teddy Pendergrass, Barry White, and and somebody that Ooh, dude people sleep on another underrated George Michael man. Ooh, with the hanging ear ring, George Michael. Now, now, I th- I throw some George Michael in there for you. That careless whisper. You don't want none of that, man. Come on, man. Don't, don't see, you, see you. You finna make me bring out some country music, uh, and yo. that's gonna that's really gonna set everything off. Never gonna dance again. You don't want that. Yeah, that's really gonna set everything that. off. On. You, oh. see, if I break out, if I break out, if I mess around, break out the country music. If I fall, oh, <laughs> slip me down easy. Oh, oh. oh, if I leave my heart with you tonight, can you promise me that you're gonna treat it right? Uh. Oh, oh, you don't want that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what, Smith? <laughs> that, uh, that. On that note, <laughs> on that bad that. note, let me. <laughs> let me <laughs> uh, low, low, while you having delusions of grandeur, tell everybody where you're at, brother, and, and <laughs> let them know. <laughs> Hold yeah, on, before you do that, this is a good one. <clears throat> now, I'll go here with you. Padre, Padre aside of putting them threes, did something right for now. Oh, wait, saying, wait, wait. Don't be hating on don't be hating on Pirate. No, man. Mike, my no, man. Mike. I, God, no, going go, go, go on and break it out right quick. You say a door by Prince. Go on and break it out right quick. No, yeah, yeah. said that OC said that's he is. Like, go, go ahead and do hey, what you do. Hey, bro. that might be a challenge. Oh, okay, okay. So, so you say that's a tiebreaker for the year? That might be a tiebreaker. Okay. I'll go okay. tiebreaker on the door. Okay. 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 So if you think you are ready. I know you, it. You think you ready? I know it. I'm, I'm, See, I'm Travis ready. said. Travis get, said, "Give him a taste," because Travis didn't even hear it a couple of minutes ago. He said, "Cause Travis said, oh, that was it." <laughs> Travis, Travis didn't even hear. It. Oh man, it's gonna be fun, boy. This gonna be fun. My brother Tia Rodney said, "Listen to these well seasoned and cook young men." <laughs> oh, man, That's man. We, we're not gonna be able to laugh through that, man. We. <laughs> I know it. Boy, tell her where you at, man. So we hey, can man. let you folks go home. <laughs> For everybody out there that don't want to meet, my name is Big Low Country. I'm just an old country <laughs> boy, former football coach that loves to sit around and talk and have the voice of an angel. Make sure that you come check us out at Big Low Country Sports. <laughs> Spell K U N T R Y. I didn't oh, realize man. I was spelling it wrong until I graduated from college. Um, Miss Lorene, she said, um, <laughs> Smitty, take charge and shut them down because she knows, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Judge know what's going on. Mama Day right. turned on me. That's all right. <laughs> Mother's Day coming up. How oh, Mother's Day weird, man? All right. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, all right, all right. I'm you. You Marine, on I got Sunday you. Dinner. You don't, don't I make you. a hey, man. I see you. I got you, Mister Reed. I got you. Look, Steve, trip, Mama Judge don't cut you. off his Sunday dinner. <laughs> 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 Uh, oh, go man. ahead, little, my bad. Oh man, I'm I'm finished. I'm finished. Uh, I'm sorry, man. I'm I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Smitty, oh, man. Smitty, big time, Smitty again, man. Brother, congratulations oh, man. again. Ten grand, brother. We get <laughs> we getting ready to get you to twenty grand. Tell everybody where you at, man. And, uh, and, and, and do your thing, bro. Uh, if I can start laughing at y'all clowns, I get to it. Um, <laughs> find me on Smitty Sports Machine, man, on YouTube and uh. Again, man, thank y'all for the ride, man. Y'all been along for the ride for four years, five, almost five years. Um, and I plan to keep going and going and keep y'all in tune with breaking news uh, on the daily and just keep putting up free agent videos and in the NFL draft video. And now that we got our quarterback in place, I'm going to throw my next mock out tomorrow. So oh, just okay. look out for it. Okay. All right. 
look out for the mock drafts, y'all. That that that's made in the house. Uh, again, uh, look, folks, uh, you gonna get sports and you gonna get entertainment when you come to these guys right here because I can't stop laughing sometimes when I get on here with these cats. Uh, wonderful breaking it down. Uh, the the actual signing of of Kirk Cousins is gonna be a lot more afterwards. Please make sure you watch uh, Smitty Sports Machine. Please make sure you watch Big Low Country Sports and please watch Uncle Steve's Lounge. We appreciate y'all taking the time on this Monday. This has been the Monday Minutia. I appreciate y'all, fellas. Much love to y'all, man. Everybody have a great Monday, and we will holler at everybody later on uh, as I'll take us out. I used to think about immature things. <laughs>